Hey, fourth grader, it's time for your next video. Well, what do we got here? We got orders of operation, and you're probably thinking, what in the world is that? But you got someone here to help you. You got your old dear Aunt Sally right here that's going to help you. All right, this is Aunt Sally. I want you to keep that in your head. Keep that in your brain. All right, so here we go. All right, so order of operation is just the order. If you have a equation if you have a number of sentence aunt sally is going to help you decide what you do first all right it's the order of how you solve it okay and i want you to remember please excuse my dear aunt sally all right please is that you do the parentheses first excuse would be your exponents which we won't really worry about that right now um that will be later in um, you know, maybe next year, the following year. But what's really important this year is my dear, which is multiplication and division, and then Aunt Sally, addition and subtraction. So if you see a number sentence like this that I have down here, you would do what's in the parentheses first, then you would do your multiplication or division from left to right, all right? And then once you're done with that, you would do your addition subtraction addition and subtraction so remember please excuse my dear aunt sally please as parentheses excuses exponents the my dear is kind of together because that's multiplication division and then aunt sally is addition and subtraction okay so this one to solve this problem we have to do the what's in the parentheses first so seven minus five is two all right so when we have a problem in parentheses um, right next to a number that means what that actually means is actually multiplication alright so now we have 7 times 2 times 2 well then now we start from left to right 7 times 2 is 14 14 times 2 equals 28 alright I did what's in the parentheses first then I went from 7 times 2 times 2 I went from left to right. All right, let's see if we can figure another one out. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally Piedmas. Okay? Now, we have a multiplication, we have a subtraction, we have a division. All right, what we have to do first is our we have no parentheses no exponents we have to do our multiplication and division first so this means I have 7 times 2 which is 14 and I have 9 divided by 3 which is 3 so now I have 14 minus 9 oops I'm sorry I'm sorry I have 14 that's 14 that's 3 so I have 14 minus 3 that equals 11 all right, I kind of messed you up on that one. But we do 7 times 2 first, then we do 9 divided by 3. All right, then we subtract those. All right, because I do my multiplication division first, then my addition subtraction. So it should be 14 minus 3 because I did 9 divided by 3 first. All right, let's see if you can do one without me messing you up. All right, so now we have please... Excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? We have 6 divided by 2 in parentheses of 1 plus 2. So we know we have to do my, our parentheses first. So now we have 6 divided by 2. All right? Remember, that actually means multiplication times 1 plus 2 is 3. So I did my parentheses first. I do not have any exp, um, exponents. So I start my division. Okay? Doesn't if if multiplication comes first or division comes first, doesn't matter. You just do whatever comes first. In this case, division comes first. So six divided by two is three. Now we have three times three left. Well, three times three is nine. So this equals nine. Because I did that first, then I went six divided by two times three. Okay? And then I went 6 divided by 2, which is 3, times 3 equals 9. Okay, I did my parentheses first, I did my um, division, then I did my multiplication when we got down to it. Doesn't matter what these 
and order these are or these. If division comes first, you do division first. All right. If subtraction comes first here, you do you would do subtraction first. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another one. All right. This is kind of a um, a better visual. If division comes first, you do that. Um, if subtraction comes first, you do that. Those two are kind of are a team together. These two are kind of a team together. So now I know I have to do what's in parentheses first. All right. So in parentheses I have. 8 times 3 times 8 which is 24 so now I'm just gonna rewrite my um, equation so I have that so I have 3 times 4 plus 24 now since I need before I can add all right I need to multiply so I have 12 plus 24 all right 12 plus 24 is 36 so this equals 36 all right I did my parentheses first, then I did my multiplication, then I did my addition here. Alright? I did that, that, then I did that. Alright? Parentheses, multiplication, addition. Alright. I hope you're understanding this. Alright? We're going to do one more. Alright? I believe. And then you guys get to do one on your own. You get to do five on your own. Okay? Remember... We do what's in the parentheses first. So I'm doing what's in the parentheses. 4 plus 8 is 12. All right, remember that when the parentheses is right next to a number, that basically means that's times the number. So now I have 8 times 4 times 12. Now I do not do 4 times, doesn't really matter what order we do it in now, but let's just start left to right. So 8 times 4 is 32 times 12. All right. Well, 32 times 12. All right, we have 4. Let me see. Let me get a, let me get some more room here. Oops. 32 times 12. So 32 times 12 2 is that's 4. That's 60. All right, that's 64. Now I have that 12, which would be 320. All right, that's 4, that's 8, and that's 3. So that would be 384. All right, 384. So that whole thing is 384. All right, so now I did the parentheses first, then I went back and did the multiplication. All right. Your turn to do 5. So you have 4 in parentheses 8 plus 2. You have number 2, which is 8 divided by 2 times 4. You have 4 times 8 plus 3. Then you have 8 plus 3 times 9. Then you have 4 times 3 plus 8 minus 2. So, I hope you understand what we're doing. All right, We will continue to practice. All right, um, Just remember... Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And these are kind of teamed up, and these two are kind of teamed up because it doesn't matter which order those are in. Um, but so you would do those from left to right. All right. Good luck. See you later.